Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And would you believe the things people come up with? This is a, it's called the Skelly Donut. It's becoming somewhat of a thing at Town Hall 9. And it's called the Skelly Donut because you drop a bunch of skeletons with a rage and you take out the queen, the CC, and some valuable stuff in the core. And then you can use hogs or loons on the rest. Let's take a look at this attack and it's crazy, but it works because the skellies don't lure the CC, they don't trigger any traps. So you don't have to worry about if there's gonna be Teslas or giant bombs or what the CC troops are. They go down and whatever you see right now is all that um, actually occurs um, and all that can hurt them. Nothing's gonna pop up because they won't lure out the traps. That's one of the good things about the Skelly spell. So you can see he drops the Rage in like five or six, um, I think he had f uh, five Skelly spells and they just destroy this um, core so fast that they're gonna get out, they're gonna take out air defenses, um, cannons, and then he has his heroes up top to take out the King and a few wizard towers, so good value there. Then he has so much troop space. He has 27 hogs plus a CC of hogs as well as four healers. And he's making up for the spells he doesn't have by dropping healers on each of these groups of hogs, which I thought was really clever because um, you have giant bombs, wizard towers, and because there's only one heal spell, um, it can be pretty clever there and use the healers because he has so much troop space, but like no spell space. So he can make up for not having the heal spells by using the healers, but honestly it wouldn't have mattered. This base is so crushed anyway. If the core has the CC, the queen, a few other defenses, mainly the CC and the queen though, those are the two important things because once the CC is destroyed, no troops can come out of it. So you take out the queen, you take out the CC, um, expos, good value as well. You gotta make sure there's no wizard towers, bomb towers, or mortars in range um, because what'll happen is that splash damage will take out the skeletons. So it only works on specific bases. Um, this is just one of several awesome attacks we're gonna take a look at. Um, it's kind of a smorgasbord of weird, cool attacks that you guys might want to uh, you know, think about using because um, they are as effective as they are different. Um, they're not all that uh, skeleton donut. We have some other cool ones. This one, um, just a mass hog attack and I like this one because it's just taking the queen, taking the king, and taking the CC because people sometimes put all their stuff offset like this and you you can crush a base with 40 plus hogs, four heal spells, a poison for any skellies. That's all you need. So if the heroes and the CC are relatively exposed, this base is an extreme for sure. I mean, they are way exposed. Um, but if it's even just relatively exposed, it doesn't matter what the rest of the base looks like. Um, as long as you deploy your hogs in like a little wave here um, relatively well and you keep them healed up throughout the base, you do have four heals so you can cover most of the base, you're gonna be good to go. Um, just be patient to some extent, but uh, don't let big groups die because you're too stingy with the heals. So he actually used these heals pretty quickly, which made sense because um, most of the giant bombs and stuff that he has to heal over occurs right at that uh, initial area and then just one heal on the back end can cover that giant bomb some defenses but really when you have this many hogs you're covering over the splash damage the giant bombs mainly the point defense is almost negligible because you have so many hogs even if they get taken out individually it doesn't make a dent in the overall number of hogs um, all right let's go ahead and fast forward we have two more attacks that i think you guys will really enjoy um, just cool innovations uh, one more by us than one of uh, their attacks. This war is ongoing, Dark Looters Z. It's a CWL war, so um, I'm recording just in the middle of it. Had some awesome attacks, and I thought I'd show them. This next one here is a cool use of the P.E.K.K.A. because we know how much of an issue the king is on hog attacks. It's so annoying um, when your kill squad takes out the queen but doesn't get the defensive king, and he can just stay in those hogs for the entire attack taking them out one by one and you can try to poison him but the, you know it's it's a little bit difficult if you don't have a lot of hogs um, this one there's not very many hogs at all but you can do this when you have more hogs it's using the pekka to take out the king and it, it also he, the pekka can tank 
point defense and even take out defenses that are on the outside of the base. So the Pekka can get some very good value, but the main thing is having it take out the king. And like I said, this one is not really even a hog attack. It's um, a very kill squad heavy attack, two golems, the healers, uh, all that stuff, the bowlers and the CC. But you can do it when you have 10, 12, 15 hogs. And uh, instead of bringing the extra like five hogs, it might be worth it to take out the king, tank for your initial hogs, and maybe get a Tesla or a Mortar or just a small defense on the outside that can also add to the value of using the P.E.K.K.A. So things move in. There's the P.E.K.K.A. A wizard behind him. Um, it also starts cleanup, I guess, one way to look at it. Uh, especially if the P.E.K.K.A. survives, he will continue to tank. Or I guess she, it's a P.E.K.K.A. a she, will continue to tank and help with cleanup and all that good stuff. So the P.E.K.K.A. has a lot of HP. I can pretty much one-on-one -on -one the king. Level 4 P.E.K.K.A. has no problem with the king. If there's a lot of defenses, it might be an issue. So throwing in a wizard or two can't hurt. You're going to have them anyway for cleanup. Uh, but anyway, the P.E.K.K.A. keeps moving. The kill squad got very, very far into this base. Uh, so you can see that um, the king is still up with his ability and a healer on him. Hogs still sprinkling through. Queen with her ability. Uh, crush this base. Very nice stuff to Holka. Um, we have one more, and the last one might be one of the crazier ones. Uh, it's right up there with the first attack we saw. It is a mass baby dragon attack, which actually is more popular at Town Hall 10 almost, um, as opposed to Town Hall 9. But it's it's rare for either Town Hall level, really. We, we barely ever see it, especially in these types of uh, competitive wars. But uh, we'll take a look at it next here. Let's see, it's base number... Uh, 32. Okay, we'll hop on over. Good war, by the way. Uh, you can see we already have a couple. I think we have three 10v10s. So we're looking good, but it's still so early on. And oftentimes it'll come down to a few 11v11s or um, just some of those clutch attacks at the end of the war that can turn the tide. So no matter how it starts, it can easily switch um, all the way through the last few attacks of the war. But anyway, uh, focusing on this attack here, 15 baby dragons. This one, because oftentimes we see like a queen charge to take out all the air defenses, then maybe some sprinkled baby dragons like 8 to 10. But using 15 and going this heavy is actually pretty surprising. A few keys that make this possible are the expos that are set to ground. And that's very important because they have a lot of hit points. They do a solid amount of damage. They're pretty strong on range. They're in the middle of the base. All things that make it hard for baby dragons to take them out and make them very tough on baby dragons. Um, so because those two expos are not engaged um, onto air, it makes it um, viable to use this attack strategy. I still wouldn't recommend it um, against the vast majority of bases, but bases like these, you can use it, and it can be cool and even be effective, believe it or not, and a good thing, a good reliable thing to go to if it's the right base. You can see how easy these two air defenses are to get with a hound and some hasted loons. This one air defense unfortunately didn't go down, um, so he has to improvise and use some balloons on it. Um, so a good adjustment there, the baby dragons will tank and then the air defense will go down. But if you look at the rest of the base here, once the air defenses are down, it's Teslas, Archer Towers, Wizard Towers, all very um, doable for these baby dragons. Has all the spells for them also. Has a rage over there. He's going to heal up that group as well. It's a little bit tough to know when to rage and when to heal. Just try to get them on the biggest groups of baby dragons. So a solid heal spell right there. Uh, he'll get like three or four baby dragons in it for a moment. Uh, so that's very uh, good deployment. Just going over on the right side of the base, letting them work through. And uh, he has a few balloons saved as well. Because what you can do is use the balloons once the baby dragons are tanking because they're relatively high in hit points. So that's a good way to target those defenses even when the baby dragons are stuck on like storages or something. So nice balloons sprinkled in here. Awesome attack. You can see how many baby dragons he has left up. They don't have that um, raged ability that they get when they're individual in terms of air troops, but uh, they still are pretty good in packs and they're a little bit quicker than dragons and they can be more versatile because you can spread them out and when you drop them individually, they get that times two bonus. So they're, they're a good option um, if there's more of the base to take out 
or if um, I, it's, it's hard to, to say when you use these versus dragons you just kind of have to see which one you're more comfortable with because they are very similar but the baby dragons can crush bases is the point as you saw here so anyway that will do it hope you guys like those four cool attacks i try to get some more content out from this OHG versus DLZ war because it should be awesome. Not sure if I'll be able to stream it though. Um, I'm going to be a little busy tomorrow. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.